My name is Mike Mancini. I'm a professor at Baylor College of Medicine in the departments of molecular cell biology and pharmacology, and also cross-appointed at Texas A&M's Institute of Biosciences and Technology, IBT. My name is Fabio Stossi, and I am an associate professor in the Department of Molecular and Cellular Biology at Baylor College of Medicine. I am also technical director of the Integrated Microscopy Core, which is a shared resource for the college. My name is Hannah Johnson, and I'm a research assistant at the Integrated Microscopy Core here at Baylor College of Medicine. Our future plans for our research is to employ the Yokogawa CD8000 to perform high content, high throughput screens of large number of cell models, both 2D and 3D, both live and fixed, up to model organisms, and screen large compound libraries for phenotypic screening. For high content imaging, a core facility has a unique task, and that is to accommodate the largest number possible of investigators with the highest variety of assays. That's where high content and high throughput imaging comes into play, and it gives an opportunity to discover new mechanisms of actions or new therapeutic targets. This has been a somewhat miraculous jump to much faster, much more capabilities, many more channels simultaneous. The speed is incredible, and the quality of the image is so much better than our previous high content platform. We still have it, it's in the back, it's a backup machine now, but I don't think anybody would want to take pictures with it anymore, as long as the Yokogawa is here. The key to utilizing the full capability of the CV8000 is its wide variety of usages that we can train our users to use. So we have a variety of users who will do uh, phenotypic screening, as well as more complex imaging, such as with my, uh, muscle myofibers or zebrafish embryos.